Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, I want to answer a question about uh, how is my daily hair fall. And for you guys who are watching this channel for the first time, my name is Alex. I've been having hair loss problems since I was 18 years old, but I was able to recover from it and get hair I have now. I'm now 37 years old and I still have my hair. So in today's video, I want to answer a question about uh, how many hairs do I lose on a daily basis. And before I answer that question, I also want to kind of talk about the importance of having set up a reference point, right? Because if you just randomly pull your hair on a daily basis, it can give you an accurate number, right? It can look too high and basically it can start to stress you out and that's not optimal, right? So we have to kind of have a reference point and uh, test the uh, amount of the daily hair shadow, hair fall uh, in a more accurate way. And basically the way I do it is that I take a shower, afterwards I towel dry my hair, afterwards I blow dry the hair, and basically when I have done those things, I just sit down on my desk and then I just slice my hand through them, like for 30 seconds. I slice my hand through them, my hair for 30 seconds, and then afterwards I count how many hairs has actually fallen off on the desk, right? And if there is, for example, like normal range for me, uh, or healthy range, is 15 to 25 hairs, right? Basically, when I have done slicing with my hand, I see the 15 to 25 hairs, and uh, that number kind of fluctuates between that range, right? And on the low range is 15, and on the more higher range is 25. And there is, of course, many, many factors that can affect daily hair fall, right? The stress levels, uh, sleep patterns, uh, diet, right? Uh, possible some weather change, right? So there are multiple reasons why hair can fluctuate on a daily basis. But if the hair are past 25 here, then I know that there is some problem going on, right? And uh, nowadays it doesn't happen that often anymore because I have a good control of my hair loss prevention treatment. But in the past, when I was kind of starting out, there was uh, ups and downs all the time, right? It could be 35 years, it could be 65 years, and basically that kind of uh, number would mean that there is some kind of problem going on on the scalp. And in my case, back in the past, when I didn't have that much control on my hair loss, it would be inflammation or microinflammation or some dermatitis that I didn't fully have a control over, right? But uh, basically, this is kind of my point is to show you how to make a uh, right count of the hairs that are falling out. Because by having a reference point, it will, <clears throat> it will give you a more accurate number of uh, if the hair loss situation is under control or if it's uh, on the high range and you need to address it and find out what is going on. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next one. Cheers.